Uh, folks, one of the things that makes me sad about not having Mitt Romney in the race anymore in 2016 is that we don't have Mitt Romney in the race anymore for 2016. And also he was in your draft. Yes, that too. But even more so, it's just Mitt Romney, so Mitt Romney. And apparently in a forthcoming book written by David Axelrod, the former senior advisor to President Obama, now I think he's an MSNBC contributor, I'm not sure. Apparently, Mitt Romney called President Obama to concede the presidential race. And over the course of the call, President Obama did not look at all amused. <laughs> According to Axel Rod's book, uh, Obama was, quote, unsmiling during the call and slightly irritated when it was over. The president hung up and said Romney admitted he was surprised at his own loss. <laughs> All right, of course. That's not surprising. Quote, you really did a great job of getting the vote out in places like Cleveland and Milwaukee. In other words, black people. <laughs> wow. Obama said, paraphrasing Romney, that's what he thinks this was all about. I, I mean, now, think about Mitt Romney and think about how likely it is that he said this. It is more than likely that he said it. It's almost impossible to imagine that he couldn't articulate to Obama, like, the only reason why you won it was because you're black. I mean, here's a guy, Mitt Romney, who thought his trip to the White House would have been much easier. And he said this. If only he had a Latino last name or had been born in Mexico... <laughs> then he would, have he would have, of course, had a much easier attempt at the White House, ignoring all the benefits this guy had. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> candy, he tried, he Candy, tried, tried. did you hear what he said about Benghazi? Did you hear what he said about Benghazi? He really turned out the, the, the black people. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Unbelievable. And you did a uh, mediocre job of turning out the, and, uh, the uh, sociopathic white people. Yes. Yeah, good luck. Uh, blithering idiot, Sam, I seem to recall stories about Romney operatives uh, belittling Obama's win by pointing out to urban turnout. Yes, but I agree that it was an utterly classless move to Romney to start spinning the loss in his concession call. What a dick. <laughs> I don't even think he was spinning in his mind. Oh. I really just think he thinks, like, you got, you did something that was a little bit cheating insofar as you got all the black people to vote for I think him. we both know what would have happened if this race took place in the 1950s, but that's, <laughs> that said. That's uh, right. Okay, that's okay. You did okay. Uh, uh, now, I just want to point out that my father didn't face that type of uh, problems uh, with the black that people. that said, I, I'm not Mexican, so, I mean, we all come in with <laughs> our own innate disadvantages. You, <laughs> you did well. I mean, black people can vote now, and I wasn't Mexican, so that's obviously right. the, the cards stacked in your favor. You clearly <laughs> have the advantage through your life of being black. And so, uh, well, I guess that's just the luck of the draw that you were named Obama Hussein, uh, you know, Barack Hussein Obama. And I was named uh, Mitt Romney. And um, you were lucky insofar as your father left you. And my father was, you know, uh, overshadowed me. Imagine in some fashion. if I was Swarhe Rominos. You'd be you'd be crying in your wife's lap right now. <laughs> but, right. but at any rate, uh, congratulations again. We'd uh, be doing dressage in the uh, White House lawn. And, uh, you would be back, I guess, I don't know, uh, community organizing or whatever it is that you people do.